I'm Jan Cook. My friends call me Johnny. I guess I become a bottle shopper. When I was at uh, Total Wine the other day, I found this Pendleton bottle. And I thought, hey, this would really be great to cut and make something out of it. So I'm using the new bottle cutting machine from What's New Johnny. Here you see me, I'm taking and I'm taping the bottle onto the driver, which I actually took the bottle cap or the, the cork, drilled a quarter inch hole in it, fitted it to the driver. And now I'm getting it ready. I'm adjusting for the length. I'm adjusting for the height. I'm getting ready to put the plexiglass shield up, put the rubber band on to get it to turn the right direction, put the plexiglass shield up, put my gloves on, put my glasses on, start the motor, and I actually have to help hold the bottle just a little bit when the cutting, when the cutting disc starts to first penetrate the bottle. And then once it's inside the bottle, the bottle just turns until the bottom falls off. You know, it's really a great system. The machine is great. I'm missing some of the plugs that I use, little black plugs to plug the, the threaded holes so they don't get uh, glass dust in them. But anyway, it's really important. Vacuum up your, 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 your glass dust. And when you cut that bottle, make sure that that shop vac was on and was hooked up to the, the end of the machine, onto the fitting. The bottle is really easy to sand. You get such a good cut that you end up really not spending a lot of time sanding. This is really a thick, thick bottle. So it's hard to sand, but the shop vac picks up the debris or most of the debris. Some of it collects on the sanding disc. And by the way, we offer those sanding discs on What's New Johnny. They're pretty inexpensive. That Bauer, that Bauer polisher really drives underneath there it really drives that disc, really makes it nice. So I go and I, I sand and I look and I sand in my look. While you're at it, you might as well make it perfect. I mean, after all, you're not going to go back and do it again. So, you know, when I'm satisfied with the flatness of the bottle, and if you're going to use it for a bottle candle, you've got to make sure that that bottom is square to the bottle. Otherwise, your candle will lean. If it's going to be a chime, it doesn't matter. You can never see it if it's a little bit crooked. But it's really important to take and, and sand it carefully, get, get rid of that glass dust and debris. You don't, you, don't want to, uh, you don't want to breathe that and you don't want to. I do this outside with the wind at my back. I mean, I'm really pretty careful. So anyway, then once we take, we take a round, a piece of closet pole and I wrap, I used sanding disc around it when taped it and that's what I'm sanding that inside edge of the bottle with. That, that, and that really works good and I just keep doing it until I'm really happy with it and I'm satisfied. When I'm done it's ready to make something out of and what we're going to do today is show you a chime and a bottle candle. Both of them wrote little rotating videos I put on YouTube to get the length you're going to be able to see what I made out of them. I mean, they're really pretty. And you can go to the website, you can go to What's New Johnny, and you'll see pretty much how we made them every, every step of the way. They're really nice. I thank Total Wine for being a great place to shop for the bottle. Pendleton for making this wonderful bottle. And the rye whiskey is really great. Which, by the way, you'll see that happy hour shot. And then what's new johnny.com for making all of this available please subscribe and hit like and stay tuned because you're going to be able to see a new video on bottle cutting a special project every single week it'll be different a different bottle and a different project thank you very much for watching